Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to dual boot Chrome OS and Windows 11 so you just need to follow me. So firstly what you have to do you just need to uh, install WSL on your computer which is Windows subsystem for Linux. So now before install WSL you just need to enable subsystem for Linux on your uh, Windows 11 computer for that you can uh, do graphically or you can use the command this command you just need to put on your power cell so don't worry with that i will give you all the command to my video description so just go to your start menu and type power cell after that right click on windows power cell and click on run as administrator now click on yes after open power cell window you just need to right click after copy this command from here or you can use this copy button over here and right click and press enter Once it will done, you just need to enable the virtual machine feature. For that, you just need to copy this command and you just need to right click and after that press enter from your keyboard. So after enable virtual machine feature, you just need to restart your PC. So just restart your PC. After restart your PC, you just need to go to that website, uh, the drugs.microsoft website and download the WSL. Linux kernel update package 64 machines. So click on that link and after that click on open file. Click on next and click on yes. After installation done, click on finish. Now you have to go to that website and you just need to run this command which is WSL set default version 2 which is WSL 2. So just open PowerShell. Right click on Windows PowerShell and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. After that you just need to copy this command from here and right click and after that press enter so now as you can see swing the operation completed successfully so after done close this window minimize this browser and after that you just need to open microsoft store now here you just need to search ubuntu and just click on ubuntu app and click on get So after installation completed successfully, you just need to click on this open button or else you can go to your start menu and type Ubuntu and just press enter and it will open Ubuntu console. Now you just need to put any username over here. I will put here technology and press enter. You can put any username and after that I will set the password for this machine ubuntu machine so you can put any password and after done i will update the ubuntu so the command will be sudo apt minus gate update then i will i have to put the password and now as you can see it's updating so you have to wait for a few minutes it's depend upon your internet speed So after done, I will put update command once again, apt minus gate update. Once it is done, close this window. Now currently I have one partition as you can see if I will go to this PC. As you can see here is my C drive, only C drive is showing. I don't have any other partition. So I will create one partition for this Chrome OS. So for that you just need to right click on your start menu, click on desk management. After that you just need to uh, 
just right click on your C drive or any of your drive and you just need to string volume from here. So you just need to string volume from here, C drive or any of your drive. And after that, it will show you the unlocated partition. So after showing unlocated partition, you just need to right click and click on new simple volume. Now click on next, then next, then next, then finish. So D drive is created, new D drive. So if I'll go to my computer, it, D drive is showing over here, as you can see. So under D drive, I will install all the uh, Chrome OS file. So what I'll do is now, I will open my browser and I will download Chrome OS update. So from here, you can download recovery image. So after go to this website, you just, need, you just need to expand recovery images. And after that, download the latest one, which is 101 in my case. So I will download 101, this one. And after that, go to this branch website, GitHub. And after that, download this file from here. And after that, you have to download grab to win from here, from this website. So click on download. So as you can see, all three are downloading. So I have to wait for a few minutes. So after download these three files, what you have to do is just need to minimize this window. Now go to under your download folder on your computer. And as you can see, here is my three file which I have downloaded. So I will copy this file from here. And I will go to under my this PC, then under go to under C drive. Then here I will create one folder where my program files and the files is there as you can see. So I will create one folder. And after that, I will put the name like Chrome OS and I will copy all the file over here. So as you can see, I have successfully copied under Chrome OS folder. So now what you have to do, you need 7-zip or WinRAR on your computer. So I have already installed WinRAR as you can see. So now what you have to do, you just need to extract this branch. So right click and if you are not getting any extract button over here, then just click on open. And it will open on WinRAR or 7-zip. And after that, what you have to do, you just need to copy or select all this file. And just you just need to extract it, like drag drop it on your folder, it will automatically extract. Now here I will extract Chrome OS same way. So just right click and open with WinRAR. And after that, so extract this bin file on your Chrome OS folder. Now it's successfully extracted as you can see, here is a bin file. So now I will close this window. So after extract, what you have to do, you just need to go to under your created partition drive. Here I will create one folder and under that folder I will install Chrome OS. So I will create a new folder over here where I will install Chrome OS. So I will uh, give the folder name like Chrome OS installation. Okay. So now what you have to do, you just need to go to your start menu, type Ubuntu and open Ubuntu console. So now here, firstly, you just need to uh, go to under CD, then MNT, then go to, go to under C drive, then Chrome OS, where you have extracted all the files. Now, what you have to do, after MNT, you just need to put the drive name, which is in my case C drive. And then I will put slash then under Chrome OS folder as you can see. So I will type over here Chrome OS then enter. So as you can see, I'm under Chrome OS folder. So if I'll type over here ls command, I can see all the files under that folder as you can see. So now what you have to do, you just need to put this command which is sudo bash Chrome OS minus install then dot sh then what you have to do you just need to go to under your chrome os folder and copy the bin file name from here and after that right click and as you can see the bin file name is automatically pasted over here 
Now what you have to do is to put space then minus DST space minus MNT sorry not minus only slash MNT then slash then here you just need to put where you have installed your Chrome OS. So I will install under D drive Chrome OS installation folder. So I'll type over here D slash then folder name is Chrome OS installation. Okay, then then I will put space minus S means size. If I'll go to under my this PC, I can see the size which is 66 GB. So I will type over here 66, then press enter. Then you have to put your password and press enter. So as you can see, it's showing me like CGPT needs to be installed first. So I will install CGPT. So I will type over here sudo apt gate minus install sorry gate minus y install cg pt okay so i will put the same command once again now it's showing me pv need to be installed first so i will type over here sudo apt gate minus y then space install pv after done, I will put the same command once again. So now it's working perfectly as you can see. Sorry, I forget to put the src command over here, as you can see. And now you will get this window. You just need to type dual boot over here. So as you can see over here, type dual boot. So I will type over here dual boot and press enter. And after that, as you can see, it's created one uh, Chrome OS installation dot grub dot txt file under D drive and also make sure BitLocker first startup and hibernation is disabled. Now what you have to do, you just need to close this window. And after that, you just need to restart your PC. Now go to your BIOS uh, menu. And you just need to disable secure boot from your bias menu so in my case it is enable so i will disable it from here and after that i will press f10 key to save these changes and click on case after disable secure boot you just need to go to under your c drive then go to under chrome OS folder here you will get grab to win which i have copy already so I will extract this grab to win over here. So here is the set of files. So I will double click over here and click on more info and click on run anywhere. After that, click on yes. If you are facing this type of issues during installation, then you have to disable your antivirus on your computer. For that, you just need to follow my steps. After that, click on setup. So it is showing like secure boot is not enabled. Now click on this one. Now here on this window you just need to click on manage boot menu. Click on add new entry. Here you just need to put the base name like in my case I will put over here. Uh, Chrome OS 
and on type you, you just need to select here create user section now on this notepad you just need to uh, go to your uh, under your created partition and here you will get a chrome os installation graph file so double click on that copy all these uh, command from here and paste it over here then click on save and close this window now click on ok and after that click on apply now click on ok now close this window after that you just need to restart your pc so here's my hp laptop i have pressed uh, F9 key to go to the boot menu and here I have to select grub to win EFI and after that press enter and here I am getting this window as you can see now press the down arrow key it will show you the chrome OS over here chrome OS and chrome OS settings so you have to select here chrome OS and after that press enter and it will load a uh, chrome os so it will take some time so you have to wait for few minutes so i hope this tutorial will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or question then comments down below i will see you guys in the next one next video till then bye bye take care